Hey everybody, welcome back to our next recorded D&D session, and a quick shout out to Sirenscape. If you liked any of the sounds and soundscapes that you hear throughout this episode, head on over to Sirenscape.com. Okay, so, last we gathered here, um, the group had first entered Riverfield, um, Akithros, the long-lost monk, was kidnapped and woke to hear voices of a uh, a woman speaking with another woman and man uh, who seemed to be working as the port authority um, in Riverfield. Uh, they demanded to inspect the, the crate um, after Akithros rumbled a bit really, really poorly. Um, <laughs> but uh, inspected the crate, encountered the stowaway or the, the kidnappy um, and a fight ensued where uh, this shadowy woman was teleporting in and out of the shadows in the area and as she began to understand the odds were not in her favor she cast a spell that seemed to completely dull everybody's senses in the area and she made a very silent escape um and Akithros then fell unconscious due to exhaustion from his days of being in a crate um the party uh in search of Somebody who might be knowledgeable to uh, discover Merrick's arcane affliction uh, went to Coldshore Arcana, which was a magic uh, equipment store. Um, uh, yeah, so they went in, and there was two owners. There was a pregnant wife and a husband. Um, the husband having a signature mark of. Uh, round spectacles and the wife with blonde hair <coughs> um they were investigating and were asking about the whereabouts of their friend Akithros where the spectacled man started offering some sketchy answers um and Akithros came to stripped a bulletin board of maps of seemingly the the uh underlying structure underneath the city came outside uh, a moment of panic ensued and was calmed down with promise of a story to be told at the coming midnight. Um, Monitor learned of a magical flute, or lute, lute, um, that was there in stock, but decided the price was a little bit too much. Um, I don't know, it was the the instrument of scribing, uh, which was a lute. Um, Uh Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, so then, uh, as you guys exited with Akithros now in tow, Merrick slipped back into the door after a customer had entered the shop, and he witnessed something that he had never perceived before, where it was seemingly two conversations happening at the same time, um, between the two people, uh, that were seemingly entirely unrelated and made no sense at all, but they both both parties seemed to understand what was happening. Um, not knowing thieves can't, as he's not a rogue, Merrick left with little information. Um, Monitor investigated the back of the shop, found a locked cellar door, um, realized he had no means of opening the lock, uh, informed Merrick and Akithros after Akithros had went to a bathhouse and avoided a, a prostitute that would not have been a good time. I didn't know. Um, Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't associate myself no. with him. <laughs> they had, so virtuous. Yes. Uh, <laughs> caught up with Monitor as he was trying to dis- decipher if he could use wax to break a lock. Sealing wax. <laughs> yeah. Possible, yes. Um, concluded that he couldn't. Um, Monitor decided to stalk the cellar door and is now hiding in the alley, keeping watch of it as Kithros and Merrick went after where Sahalia had said she was going. However, she had transformed into a cat and snuck into the back room of the shop. Um, but we'll start off with that. So Merrick and Akithros went to the Temple of Dula uh, in Riverfield, which Dula is the uh, deity giant of literature, art, knowledge, glyphs, images, and cartography. Um, yes. They, uh, yeah. 
divvy up everything. <laughs> they had spoken with the um, head priest there, asking for services and identifying Merrick's affliction. Merrick put his hand in uh, some holy water, and the priest cast a spell to try and identify, in which Merrick blacked out and met with his uh, demonic patron, Despater, um, in a uh, iron tower in a, a hellish land, uh, surrounded by flame and screams and um, iron statues of various people frozen in moments of anguish. Uh, Despater described how everyone around him had turned against him and he could trust no one, and he consoled with Merrick over Merrick's uh, previous... Um, Vict- fell- falling victim to a betrayal as well. Um, Despater took pity on Merrick, saved his life when the Dark Assassin almost killed him, and now the two are bonded by Despater's blade of anguish. Um, and that is when Merrick came to uh, a um, circular barred window from the tower burned into his hand, and he has now access to Despater's sword. Um, in a panic, uh, he screamed and ran as the, like a little, <laughs> little bitch, like screamed and ran, <laughs> <laughs> yelped. A deep guttural bellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, manly, a manly yip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he yipped and skipped out of the place. <laughs> uh... <laughs> As the priest screamed the name Despater, um, Akitharos, trying to salvage the situation as he loves maps, tried to speak with the priest about Dula, the god of cartography, um, and was quickly told, now is not the time. Uh, (laughs) Darn it. um, However, there was many uh, scribes and other such sources of knowledge that might be worth a return visit for you being so cartog- cartographically inclined. Um, Merrick sprints it out into the center center roadway, um, and that is when we'll go back to Sahalia, who had transformed into a cat, maneuvered her way very luckily into the back room, um, was rifling through a desk um, and found a letter to uh, seemingly the main proprietor um, of Cultural Arcana. Um, the uh, the letter seemed to describe a a current underlying political unrest in Riverfield. Uh, it explained that the. The wreckage and carnage seen at the Burnt Hills were the remnants of an army lost in an effort to kill a peaceful red dragon in order to use its hide for weapons and armor. Um, That king had since died mysteriously, and his son has taken the throne and is being uh, heavily influenced by the wealthy nobles to raise another army to invade the lands of the south. Um, And the massive wipeout of a massive army and all of our equipment and subsequent raising of another massive army has less Riverfield uh, and crippling taxation um, which has this this letter detailed its scathing anger towards and that is where we left you off Sahalia so Catalia you are now on a desk in the middle of the back room you hear um, faint talking from the main room out front Uh, it is slowly becoming around evening. Um, the sun is setting on the horizon as you see through the doorway and out the front window. Um, your surroundings are, you have a, there's a bulletin board of a lot of like pins with paper ripped around them. Um, there's a bunch of desk drawers flipped open by you. There's a bed in the corner with tussled sheets. Um, what else would you like to search for? See if I can find anything um, hidden under the bed. Hidden under the bed. Okay. Make an investigation check. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> you you scoot under, and it's just a, a straw bed on a bed frame. Uh, 
different sides because I'm a cat. Not much different. Um, I'm going to try to like scratch underneath the bed and see if I can feel like anything different. Like if something's been like that shoved. would have that would have been your investigation oh, check. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to. Are there any like paintings in the room? Uh, the only source of kind of. The yeah, <laughs> the or, only source of what would be like wall hung information was the bulletin board, which is currently stripped. Okay, I'm gonna check the bulletin board. Well, you, you just look it over. There's a whole bunch of pins that seem to have papers ripped from them. There's no other source of information. Mm, there's no other doors. Just the door back inside. But there was another book in the drawer. Another so book. One book. There's two books. Sure. Um, <laughs> I remember so, there wait, was... isn't there a back door? No, so the, the cellar door that you're observing is like an exterior cellar door. It's like a hatch that you open up from the back of the house and go underneath the house to. Oh, but she's at the top. Or... She's in the back room of the house. Oh. Okay. You can make another investigation check to try and search a little bit heavier. Just the rest of the room. Oh, Wait, I have luck. Hold on. Is lucky, is lucky re-rolling? I don't know if something weird in there. Do I get three? You can do it three per long rest. Three per long rest. And you I can, can re-roll. re-roll pretty much anything. I'm going to use a different dice. Because it was Thirteen. Cheers. You had... To Sammy, <laughs> um, you're, you previously rolled investigation to find that letter that was hidden in a compartment in the drawers. Um, you haven't found anything else. At this point, you start hearing uh, from the center room, uh, "Hey, why is the why is the door open?" And you hear some footsteps coming towards the doorway. I'm just gonna go and perch. There's a window in there, right? No, the only window is on the doorway to the main room. I'm just gonna curl up on the bed and act like I somehow got into the bed, into the room, and just decided to sleep. Make a make a performance check as a kitty cat. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's probably a plus zero unless you can find the stats of a cat. I don't think they have like. Cats if it's not, if it doesn't matter, I got a, I got a seventeen. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Well, I meant, like, plus two. So, it's a, what would you say, performance? Yeah. So, charisma? Yeah. Oh, then I got a minus two, 13. 13? That's not bad. Yeah, so you you hop up on the bed real quick after you're rifling through the desks, um, and you see the bespectacled man uh, come in, kind of, like, addressing, uh, speaking towards the other room. Um, He opens up the door, looks over... He's just like, Sonia, you won't mind the shop. Um, and he opens the door, and he sees the drawers flung open. Oh, shit! Um, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> the, uh... Um, and a cat curled up on the bed. <laughs> well, it could have been me just trying to climb up to the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Uh, <laughs> he, I have a backup plan. He he walks in. He's like, "What? Who? What's?" He closes the door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so fucked. I, I get up. Meow. <laughs> Make a performance check at disadvantage. Performance. Did you use your second luck point already? No, that I um, used a disadvantage, so I was seeing if I got oh, I, I lower. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so performance is charisma, so I got a two. A two, okay. <laughs> so, as a cat, this is how you actually sound. <laughs> Mow! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he then reaches behind him, grabs I a dagger, the and... Do you have the ability to cast spells as a cat? Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> that is an Trip important distinction. Up. No, I can't cast spells. Okay, so you can dispel it as so an action. I don't want him to figure out who I am. Okay, yeah, you, you can't go straight in the gaseous form. I'm wild shape into another wild shape. 
I you would have to check the the spell. I, that's not information that I know. Yeah, I think I can change into so I can so I can change into a swarm of insects. I'll just change into a swarm of insects. That's one I know for sure I can do. Okay. Are they ants? Because ants can't fly. Swarm. The queen can. A swarm of queen. A swarm. A swarm. A swarm of queen. Queen. I can't like fly high, but I can be a swarm. Okay. Cool. Like, I don't have flying, uh, I don't have flying speed, at least to my knowledge. I did, like, the one where I have Circle of the Moon, where I can change, it, my wild shape is enhanced, but I'm not sure if I can fly. But I can change into a swarm of insects, because that's available at level 4. The swarm of wasps says level 8, so I'm not sure. Okay, so you swarm of insects. Generic insects. So, the, he says... He closes the door, says Sonia... First I, want, first I want to hiss and then turn into a swarm of insects. I oh. want to go from, like, like, kind of, like, like, as I'm hissing, like, my sides start turning in, and then just my face is, like, blasting again. Fuck, okay. So it's... So, he comes in, closes the door, witnesses you, grabs his dagger, says, Sonia, get in here now, as you hiss and then slowly, like, from back to front, disintegrate into wasps. Insects. Oh, and, and to, yeah, into just <laughs> generic insects. And then I s- uh, go under the door and out. Yeah, so as he's whipping out this and witnesses this, you hear just like, oh! just the like, <laughs> pathetic scream, much like Merrick did. Um, and and so he's under a lot of pressure, mouth. okay? I want to fly into his mouth. Fly into his mouth or under the door? Under you, the door. I'll give you one of those two choices. Under, under the door? Under the door. Okay. Kinky swarm of insects. <laughs> as he's screaming, I choke him. Oh god. This is the guy who said the keystrokes. I'm not wanting to kill him, that's why I'm flying out the door. So you dis- dissipate into bugs, quickly swarm and disappear under the door. You then are in the main room and you see Sonia also grabbing her, her tummy dagger. Um, are you just sprinting out the main door as well? Okay. At a fast pace. So you're not staying in the main room? At a brisk pace. No, because she's just going to try to attack me with her... Yeah. Fly slaughter. <laughs> yes, I'm going out the door. Okay. Fly So you <laughs> aggressively swarm out the front door. Um, Muffin sees something that he kind of recognizes and is kind of afraid of. We're going to make a check to see if he understands what's going on. He has an intelligent life form in him, according to... Yes, but you're fresh to being a druid, and I don't know. I the most. He he rolled well, so he's like that. She went in, and that didn't go in. Um, and now Muffin the raccoon is following down you, sprinting among the crowd. Where are you heading to? Mm, just around the corner. Okay, so you just buzz around the corner. Um, roll a stealth check. Alley, right? Yeah. Stealth as bugs. Yes. 18 plus something, because I'm sure it's not some sort of stealth. It's good enough. So you quickly disappear around the corner as Monitor, you, sitting in between two trash cans, <laughs> see, <laughs> you see Muffin around the corner, and then right above Muffin, this massive swarm of various insects just, just swinging by in your direction. What are you going to do? I put my hands together and to say, this is my chance. And I can try, try for the door once more. Oh, I thought you were going to slap my, like, clap my... Yeah. Yeah. So you no, know, I clasp my hands together. It's not loud. It has to be ready. So you're, you're going for the... How are you going to try and open the door? Um, this time, I will be... Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't have any flying speed. I can still... I can do up to level one... The challenge rating of level one, okay. but I can't have any flying speed slow because it, it's like you can do a higher challenge rating with the circle of the moon, but you have to abide by the other rules, so I can't have flying. But for some reason, swarm of insects doesn't count as flying, but swarm of wasps does count as flying. Okay, so because you just don't have any vertical motion, is what we'll go with. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So we can homebrew swarm of wasps that can't fly. Well, swarm of wasps, I would assume, has a better attack skill than a swarm of insects. I oh, I meant like, could I do like a swarm of insects but make them all wasps? Sure, they're Sorry, stinger, that would have been cool. reduced power stinger wasps. They don't have stingers. Okay. 
I don't think that's All right. right. Money to oh, you boys. Yes. I'm, I'm going to knock on the door. I have a silent image. And that image is basically like a recorded message, correct? Which door? You're knocking on the cellar door, or are you walking around and yes. going to the front door? I'm going to the cellar door and knocking on it. Will they, able to, will they be able to hear it if I knock it? So the, the, the structure that you can infer of is that there's the main building and then a cellar door on the exterior of the building that leads to stairwell, stairways that would assumedly go under the building. So the, the cellar door does not really link up with the main building. Damn it. Okay. So the only now people that would around, really... I'll go around to the front then. Okay. So you see the swarm of insects and you're like, okay. And then you walk around <laughs> to the front of the building. Um, it's a city. There's a lot of And things. as you it's walk around, you see uh, um, the the shop owners um, nervously looking out. They're in the like the front of the shop outside, scanning through the, uh, the, the city streets. And they see you, and it's like, ah, uh, little friend, um, did, did you see, uh, lots of bugs? Or a cat? Or, I don't know, something weird? Uh, never heard of those, any of those things. Uh, you might, you might want to try, uh, going that way, and I point to a vague direction, which, in which Sahelia, I saw him get Sahelia go. And oh. Wait, you, you, you said Sahelia? Yeah, you, you can make a deception check. He's not saying Sahelia. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, what was the point? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea, but here's the direction that it actually went. <laughs> Alright, uh, I rolled the... Deception's good, right? Yes. Alright, 20 then. 20? Yes. Um, so you, you say that lie, and then you point to the direction that you know Sahelia went to? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but what he's saying is he has no idea what he's talking about, but he is pointing in your direction. Right, yeah. He's not no! A bad dude. <laughs> he's not a bad dude. It's not me, it's the character. Oh my god. <laughs> so, okay, so you, you quickly, you're like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about, and then you point to the alleyway that you just came from, and you know Sahelia as a swarm of insects is. Um... <laughs> And he's like, is this a dead end alley? <laughs> uh, he's like, Damn well, it. thank you so much. Um, uh, Sonia, watch the store. And then he, like, with his hand kind of in his is shirt. Is it a dead end alley? It's, oh, wait, wait, a, it's no, a strip I, 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 mall. I, I, stopped alley, the, I stopped the shopkeep. I'm like, wait, wait, you're going to need your, you're gonna need something, too. Because I, I, I think I think she might split up, you know, being that, being that she's a swarm of insects. Oh, you fucking rat! Roll a yeah. roll a persuasion check. God damn it! Why are you ratting me out? <laughs> wait, he oh, was stop. Wait, Drew, does he 16. know it was me? He saw Muffin following you and a strange magical aberration, and so he can assume from Muffin's Why presence. Why are you ratting me out? So you got a sixteen yeah, on. I don't have, have higher needs. So. Well, I know, but you shouldn't be ratting someone on his team. No, I don't. So. You're all a sixteen. Um, That's smart of you. He he ponders your your prompt and he looks back. He's like, ah, we, we can't leave the, the we can't leave it unguarded. Uh, Sonia, stay here. I'll I'll go take care of this. Um, and he then rushes off to the alleyway with his his hand kind of under his shirt, concealing a something. Um, Great. So, so you are <laughs> you. you are now in the the. Yes. Sonia is. Goes back into the shop, um, and you're now out front of the shop as uh, the man. I don't think you ever noticed his name. Um, heads to the alleyway out back. What are you going to do, Money Tour? Um, I'm going to go inside the shop. Is it just her in there now? Uh, yeah, it's just her. The the other customers kind of headed off in a, a kind of a panic from the scream. Okay, um, I'm just. Sneakily, just follow track her as she goes in, and I'm gonna sleep her. Okay. So are you are you gonna stealth in there? Yes, I'm gonna stealth. Would that give me a bonus if I sleep her surprisingly? Uh, it wouldn't give you a bonus. However, if she was aware of your presence, she might be able to tell that you're casting the spell. Okay. Um, and so that gives you the element of she might not know who's doing this. So roll a stealth check. 
All right. <clears throat> yeah. He's roofing her. Ooh, okay, I got a, a four. eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, good <laughs> enough. As, <laughs> as she <laughs> swings open the door and enters back in, you quickly and quietly, with your your gnomish smallness, are able to follow, <laughs> tracking behind her feet. And as she kind of is just walking casually, you begin casting sleep. So, um, read to me the specifics of sleep. Uh, roll 5d8. Total is how many hit points of this creature. This spell can affect a uh, creature within 20 feet of a uh, point you choose within range is affected. And so, starting a creature that has lowest current hit points, blah blah blah. Um, I don't know what it says about duration. Oh, the sleeper takes damage, or someone uses an action to shake or slap the sleeper awake. So. You roll a you roll five d eight for the amount of HP it can affect. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, as you as you cast this spell, um. Well, tell me, what is the effect if it doesn't work? <laughs> um, He's screwing me over now. He gets screwed up. <laughs> what does it say? What does it say if they if it doesn't work? Are they aware that you're casting it on them? Um, it just doesn't affect them if it doesn't work. Okay. I, yeah. And what are the what are the the casting elements of the spell? It'll be like verbal, somatic, and material, like VSM. Oh, it's it's VSM apparently. It's VSM. Okay, make a yeah. sleight of hand check. Sleight of hand. Yes, Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. So. Perfectly timing the utterance of the spell as the door slams shut, the sounds of your incantation are muffled, and she doesn't hear it. As you release the effect, she seems way more lively than you thought she would be, and she is able to just tank right through it, no problem. She has way more HP. She has she has 10d8 plus 20. Oh my god. <laughs> So I won't even have you roll because there's no way that you'll you'll make it. So she's Jesus. like level eighteen. <clears throat> no. Oh. She, um she has sixty five health. But uh we can take Jesus. it. So as you you release the effect, it doesn't affect her at all. However, she doesn't notice what's happening. She's still walking around. You are kind of, like very quietly right behind her feet. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Um, the door is just closed behind you. Quick? Can I just scan real quick to take uh, if there's any access to the cellar? Make um, a one? make a perception check. Okay. Oh shit! Okay, I got five. Five. So you look around and you are now pretty much behind the main counter, and you just see a lot of counter. <laughs> <laughs> The door is closed. You are alone with Sonya. She doesn't notice you, and you're right behind, right, right behind her feet. Do I, do I still hear buzzing outside the building? The the buzzing has died down. It, the distance has increased from the the swarm. Okay. Um. So she hasn't noticed me, right? Not at the moment, but you gotta you gotta think fast. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hide. Uh, I'm going to try to maneuver out of her vision while she's just walking around. Is that possible? So, roll another stealth check. Okay. Okay, you got five. No, five! <laughs> Why did we just go back at midnight? <laughs> <laughs> There's something she's hiding. Yeah, the, the uh, show is at midnight! midnight. <laughs> <laughs> she might be she might be removing something during the time, we don't know. Okay, Taco. <laughs> so <laughs> as you release the spell Yeah. You release the spell effect, nothing happens, you're like shit, she's way stronger than I thought she was, and as you slowly start kind of tracking around her, trying to avert her gaze. You completely go the opposite direction from the direction she was turning, and she's just looking dead at you right now. <laughs> she goes, oh, little man, he- hello. Would you would you like anything? I thought we were going to see you at midnight. Uh, I was wondering if you had anything uh, that 
you know, why why would it be midnight? Sometimes some some of us have to sleep, you know. Why don't you just show us now <laughs> since I'm already here and I have to go to sleep? Right? Make, can I do can I like persuade or Make something? a persuasion check at disadvantage, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, natural 20. Okay, oh. but disadvantage, so you gotta roll again and choose the lower one. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> 14, so 18. 18, okay. Yes. So, she's like, uh, Hamlin's not here. I, I I, really feel comfortable if you came at midnight. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. All right, uh, I'll, just, I'll just head on out and check on, check on Sahili, I guess. Okay. So you head out. Merrick, you just met your, your demonic patron. You unsheathed your sword partially and saw the twisted metal frozen in anguish, screamed and ran, roared a manly roar, yep. and sprinted like a football player. Yeah, bitch. Out the I front. didn't want to kill anybody in the temple. <laughs> Good guy. Yeah. As soon as you step out, you behead the first person. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Roll for damage. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you burst out the front doors of the Temple of Dula. You are in the middle, like thoroughfare of the city of Riverfield. Yeah. Various various people of various levels of wealth are bewildered and kind of looking you up and down. Some monks on the front steps of the temple are also kind of panicked. What are you doing in this moment of? Anxiety um, and fear. I'm probably sweating profusely, and I'm probably have to take a stress poop. <laughs> uh, Do it on the steps. <laughs> uh, can I? All right. I look down. Can I see anything emanating from like my sheath or my sword? Or any, like, is there any visible reason that anyone around me would suspect something? Currently, aside from my like manic state. Besides your manic state, the and your your sword is sheathed, um, but you do have the the burning new scar of some otherworldly symbol on your palm. <coughs> However, that is easily concealable. Okay. Um, do I know if it's my sword that's just been twisted and mangled into something different, or is it a completely different sword? It is a completely different sword. Shit. Okay. Um, what, what purpose are you asking that question? <clears throat> well, I just want to know, because it was a, my sword that I had was a family. So oh, I gotta, like, well... Figure out <laughs> what the fuck happened. For, for flavor, I, I can say that it is, it is transformed your sword. Okay. The hilt is the same, the blade is the blade of Dispater. Okay. Um, I would probably... I'm going to yell to a Keithros and say, I'm going back to the shop. Whether he hears me or not, I don't know. And I, okay. like, clench my butt cheeks and make a beeline to... Yeah, <laughs> to yeah. yeah. If there's, like, a public restroom on the way, you, I stop. There's and, outhouse. You notice the bathhouse that Keith Rose had went to? Yeah. But you don't know that he went to it, but right. you, you so burst I, into it. I duck in, and I just flip the guy a gold, no <laughs> questions asked, and just a make a gold. <laughs> so like, oh, damn. damn, I have to dump so bad. <laughs> I just burst in. So you burst in, flip it. The, the human attendee is like, oh, I like this type of customer. And, and you just, just fly go back. to the bathroom. Like, nearest place where I feel like I can dispense with. Uh, so you head to the, the back and you relieve yourself of an otherworldly, literally, uh, shit. Yeah. Um, as you hear a faint knock and a creak at the door as a older, wooden-eyed hairy lady creaks in like hello dear you want the package I'm in no mood and I just like rev Eldritch Blast in my hand <laughs> oh never mind okay. <laughs> close it right off continue my business and then okay. when I'm done I head back to the okay <laughs> <laughs> so you burst back out a Keith Gross roll a perception check to hear if you heard his instructions <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 16. 16. So, you, you hear, <coughs> go into the store! <laughs> uh, the Temple of Dula Priest is currently shocked. You're at, like, the front of the pews, right by the big painting of this gigantic humanoid figure 
uh, like with this broad brush painting the universe. Um, there's various scrolls lining the walls. Everybody's kind of like, oh. Um, what are you going to oh. do in the Temple of Dula? Oh. <laughs> well, my friend just left me in a panic. Yeah. This monk or or deity worshiper is refusing me the knowledge <laughs> of their maps. <laughs> no <laughs> one wants to talk to me. I'm just going to go back to the story. The scrolls because... are available for you to read yourself. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to shove off the fact that this guy is in a panic. I know that I'm not supposed to return to the store until midnight. Yeah. So I have some time <laughs> on my hands. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go read the scrolls. Okay, make a... Um, investigation check. Three. <laughs> Wait, plus. Did you three? add anything? Yeah, add your add your investigation stat score. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, it's a three. <laughs> it's a minus one. Oh, so two. Jesus. For a cartographer, you can't see. What? No, I rolled a four and then oh, I. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know how to play this game, guys. <laughs> Jeez. So. You sit down and you open up some scrolls and you like go dead to the center of one of the scrolls and it's talking about context you have zero idea on and you're like I'm gonna rough this out and figure what's going on and you keep reading from that point and none of it makes any sense. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> um, and so it goes poorly. <laughs> it's vaguely about maps but also some cryptic like religious talk. Okay. Um, so you deal with that for the next like two hours. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. God, I hate myself. <laughs> um, Sahalia. Yes? You are a swarm of insects of... of I'm, a, I'm a series of insects. A series. <laughs> You're a linked list of insects. <laughs> um, I'm a series gross. of insects. Gross. Boo. <laughs> no. No! I was gonna trace it for you. Okay, so... You're a swarm of insects... You're in an alley with a, a cellar door behind Kulshore Arcana, and... Behind... Okay. Is you, there any, like, windows to another building? Or, like, like something I can hide in? Make a make an investigation check. There's two trash cans. Yeah, you could be a swarm of flies around the garbage. <laughs> yeah. So this is important flavor. Are you a swarm of diluted wasps or are you a swarm of insects? A swarm of insects. Okay. Why? Because that affects how well you can blend in with garbage. <laughs> 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 I'm a swarm of insects on this And I was rolling investigation. Yeah. Is intelligence? I believe so. Three? Three. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Easy enough, you're in the back alley of a massive district. There is a ton yeah. of like dumpster and garbage pile around here that you I'll could... just go into the dumpster, or the garbage pile. So make a stealth check at advantage as you are a swarm of bugs. <laughs> what an advantage. Yes. <laughs> or, so that's a 20. 20, okay. So you quickly assume a state of Ooh, garbage I'm bugs. Ooh, actually... I was gonna say I'm immune to slashing, but it says damage resistance. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you quickly. You look like a swarm of garbage bugs. Um, Hamlin comes by, and he. So you you had a twenty. Yes. This is gonna be. I need to check the stats. Um. You had a twenty-one. Oh, God. So, Sahalia, as you're buzzing around this pile of garbage, he peers back and is quickly just aggressively focused. This is a trained-ass eye. As he is looking all the way down, seems to be investigating some sort of product before. Um, he quickly zones in on you, I'm your, your swarm. Away. Okay, so you're just buzzing away, you're, you're trying to run away? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, what is your your speed as a swarm? Uh, Twenty feet. Twenty feet. I can climb twenty feet. You can climb twenty feet. I can climb. Okay. I can fly. So it's like kind of. Yeah, um, but your like your regular movement is twenty feet also. Okay, so 
as you begin buzzing away, you see that he's quickly catching up with you. You are on this long alleyway is of no windows? various garbage. Oh, wait, I'm Your investigation I'm check didn't really unveil any windows, only piles of garbage. I'm going to keep searching for windows as I fly farther. Okay, make an investigation check at disadvantage as you're panicked and trying to sprint away. Symbol. There is a series... There's investigation intelligence. Uh, it, yeah, it is. Seven. Seven. You don't see any windows right now. It doesn't seem like a, a place that someone would want a view of. However, there are some low-hung ceilings that you might be able to climb above. Oh, gutters. And, and gutters and such. Like basic medieval gutters and other such Why things that you can climb it? over and, and such. Right to the sewer. Oh, like underneath the city. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you... In, a, in, a, in this alleyway, you would find a like some sort of sewer porthole that you quickly swarm under, okay. and you hear like the the footsteps quickly screech to a halt as he's looking down under. You are now underneath the city. <laughs> um, make a make a perception check as a swarm of bugs, and tell me, try and find a out a series of bugs. a series an array a two D array of bugs. Uh, you said a uh, what check? Perception. That would be 16. How wise 16. Bugs? <laughs> and do you a lot of minus signs. Do you have dark vision? Right. Uh, blind sight, ten feet. Blind sight's pretty sweet. Um, so within ten feet, as your your scattered swarm of bugs, uh, you gather. Uh, <laughs> it's it seems like a regular sewer. Um, However, on the, like, there's, like, a small ladder leading down into here for those who would want to go down here. There's informed-looking etchings on either side of the ladder with an arrow and some words and okay, another while, arrow and some other words. While I have the chance, I'm going to change back in myself in the gaseous form. Okay. So I can bonus action in myself action into the gaseous Yes. So, and now you're in a gaseous form. Okay. So, are you going to read the, the arrows? Yes. So you see um, one arrow says, uh, make, a, make a generic intelligence check. Wouldn't it just be my intelligence? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm still not that high. Ten. Ten. Um, there's an arrow pointing to the left that says Cuckoo's Nest, and an arrow pointing to the right that says The Roost. Going to the right. <laughs> Going to the right? Okay. Um, so. I do not. So now, Monitor. Uh, we really need to stick together more. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, you, this is panicked. So, Monitor, you... Where, where do we leave you off? You had just failed um, to I persuade the Roman... back to help Sahelia, but Sahelia oh, yeah. is no longer in trouble. So you, you wrap around the alleyway, you see Hamlin, out of breath, leaning, leaning over a sewer hole. Uh, he looks back at you, and he's like, I, I saw it! I... I oh... Okay. And he starts slowly walking. He says, I'll see you at midnight. <laughs> um, well, but he was next time. He and, I, and I kind of like tap his shoulder. Okay, you you tap his like upper calf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, there, big <laughs> So he, he was I standing. Hope he didn't take anything, am I right? Yeah. He was standing over a sewer hole, um, and you can investigate that hole if you choose. I'll investigate that hole. Okay. Roll an investigation check. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. Um, as, you, as you peer over, um, Sahelia, have you gaseous formed before? You mean like Sahelia or yes, have I Sahelia? No, I no. just got the spell. You so just got the spell. So you you peer down and after overcoming a wave of like terrible smell, um, you see a ladder down um, 
and you you see a lot of like condensation, a lot of mist and such that has been left on the walls down here that seems out of place. But that's all you gather. Who? So uncivilized. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna go down there. <laughs> okay. I imagine that's what he actually says out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wrapping around back up front? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, so how far is the temple from here again? It's a few blocks down. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look out and observe, observe what's going around this, this building. So you, as you head back out front, you see Merrick in a cold sweat and panic, but looking slightly relieved. Um, <laughs> charging... <laughs> <laughs> charging back to you at the front of the store. Oh, hi. hello, Merrick. Hey, funny tour. Hey, you don't look so well. As, uh, what happened? Uh, I think it was that that day old ration that I had on the road. It just didn't agree um, with me. Those rations are never supposed to be prayed. No. For, for something that you, you may to. suspect as a lie, you can say, I want to insight check that, and then he'll have to compete against with a deception. I'm going to do that, then. Let's go. Okay. So, Merrick, deception, monitor roll and insight check. Eyes. Am I lying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're doing insight, he's doing deception. Okay. I got I got twenty-two. Oh fuck. Oh, <laughs> twenty-three. Oh, oh shit. Nineteen <laughs> plus four. <laughs> so with the steel yeah. reserve, he confidently says it was the rations. <laughs> Monitor squints, but Merrick squints hard. <laughs> Death squinted me in the face. Squinted. <laughs> so you you fully believe him? He had some bad I rations. Fully believe him? Yep. Oh. Yeah. I had some okay. Bad okay. I'll say okay. Well, yes. those rations. Yeah. Like you, you never know what's inside those things. Where's where's uh where's the keep the rose? I thought he was a dude. Yeah. He. Last I checked, he was really enamored with the maps in the temple that we saw, and I think he was trying to read some of them. He might. Oh. He, I think he's gonna. He may join us later. I don't know. Okay. Well, we probably shouldn't leave him alone for too long, considering we just got him back from being kidnapped. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna tug on whatever loose cloth that I can reach, and I'll say, "Hey, come closer," and he has to kneel down to me. So you, you bend the. Fuck I roll. An, I make an inside check. On okay. What he wants to do. Sure. Sure. I wasn't gonna do it. Taka, what is what is your your true purpose to this tug? Um, so you can talk I was just going to tell him that face. I think uh, the shopkeep are, is, is trying to pull something on us. Okay, so you, you, have, you have no adverse actions against Merrick you're doing right now. No, this is, this is, me, this is me making a speculation. Okay. Why, why do you think that money's work? I, something in me just says, why would we meet them at midnight, you know? That's never a good time to meet someone. Unless we're getting... Well, <laughs> the me, only me, possible solution. Let me pose a counterpoint to that. <laughs> he did. Him and his wife, who apparently moonlight as Port Authority agents, <laughs> saved a Keithros out of. Well, we don't know why. Yeah, you don't know the Port Authority either. You just know that Akitha yeah. is in the oh, back room. Okay. Port Authority is the first perfect place to dispose of. You know, yeah, you don't know these facts. You, yeah, you don't know anything okay, about Port of Back up. They saved the Keith Rose. So <laughs> they have a little bit of credibility with us, considering they could have not. Can I try to deceive uh, Eric into believing me? Uh, you can persuade him to try and say how much you thoroughly believe this. However, that, that's still up to him to decide. Okay. Well, what if I say I over um, uh, plotting our downfall, and that's a lie? You can you can then deceive in that way. Yes, you could. All right, then deceive I shall. All right. Do you, are you going to try and insight check this? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, natural twenty. <laughs> it's 17. a. He's, he's like, uh... They wanted to hurt me. 
<laughs> okay. Retire and Toten. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Maybe that happened. Probably not. But we. I feel like in this instance, we have to give him the benefit of the doubt, considering what happened. All right. Fine. Okay. Well, I just saw a weirdness the, uh, by the uh, what's it called the man hole. I mean the sewer. I mean the medieval hole. That goes underground. It's not medieval right now. I think all oh, three of those words work. It's but modern. There was a woman hole back then. <laughs> I think. Do you know where Sahelia is? Do you know where she went? I, I don't know. I know she... I. You saw a muffin yeah. falling seemingly in tandem with a swarm of insects that could be inferred to be Sahelia. That's all you know. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. Is it... If, so I can assume it's Sahelia? Well, that was my natural conclusion. I kind of decided that for you. That was that yeah. was my bad. So okay. it's whatever okay, you think say, you would interpret it. Saw muffin. I saw a muffin run out with a band of a band of insects. So I can only assume. Um, okay. And I point to the I point to the alley. All right. Well, Sahelia can turn into a giant spider and take care of herself. I say we go back to the temple. I'll wait outside. I'm not exactly welcome in there right now. You can go inside and grab a key throws. And we can figure out okay. what to do in the meantime. How's that sound? I, I puff my chest and pound it and say, You can count on me to convince him back. Okay, I reach down to give him a little gnome fist bump. A little gnome fist bump. Do you, do you reciprocate the fist bump? Uh, yes. Okay. You Deception. Like <laughs> Building trust. <laughs> one I just see you to not. Okay. No, 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 I'm thinking I'm kidding. Alright, yeah, okay. You. So. Little little gnome fist bump, and you guys are you going? Is he going alone, or, or are you both? Going? We both walk back, and then I'll wait like half a block away. While he okay, goes. so then so I, dig in, I can see the entrance. So Monitor, you walk into this vast, beautiful temple of Duolo with a massive painting of a giant painting the universe, tons of scrolls on the side. As you see, uh, Akithros laying like sitting on one of the pews as the the various monks are kind of tidying some things up after some something seemingly shoved pews out of the way in a in a hurry um as they uh <laughs> as you see uh Akithros reading a scroll sideways um you <laughs> you walk in and see he's got a thoroughly puzzled face uh what are you gonna do uh i i nudge over to the monks and say uh, do you know that man over there? And I point to Kifros. Oh well, he he came in with a uh, with a, another man who decided to sprint out in a hurry. wasn't very wasn't very happy. Huh. Well, uh, what's what's that thing he's holding over there? Ah, uh, well, it seems he's now nah, he's not reading it. He's looking at a scroll. <laughs> um, and judging by where he pulled it from, that's. That looks like a, about a cartography lessons for uh, for above land areas in particular. Mm, that would be that'd be dwarvish strongholds. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, can you come with me to help him explain uh, the map for me then? I uh, sh- sure. So he he yeah. walks on with you, and you see Akitros looking at a scroll sideways. <laughs> this is gonna be written in Chinese or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, friends. I have someone who might be able to help. I don't need any help. <laughs> Just give me a minute. I know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> uh, I, I, I get closer to him. I, I think I think he can really help you. <laughs> Please. This is, you've been here for, for a while now, haven't you? I, I don't have a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard the bell chime twice, so... <laughs> As you, uh, <laughs> as you guys are having this conversation, the monk quickly goes to, like, the other end of the scroll stack and grabs a scroll and walks over. He's like, hey, uh, hey, uh, new patron, I, I think you would enjoy this one. It's about a, a magical scroll rumored to be nearby. A scroll about a scroll. Okay, Something let me who, s- <laughs> scroll. <about laughs> <a scroll. laughs> Something who's one uh, a more adventuring type like yourself seem to be might be able to procure what kind of scroll oh, are you oh, talking yes. about here's here's this and don't tell him who sent you <laughs> well i can't i don't know your name <laughs> exactly i'll see you later name's sam oh shit uh, okay all right bye sam 
<laughs> Bye, buddy. I'm gonna tell <laughs> everyone. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like I missed a really good exchange. <laughs> can I roll a reading check? <laughs> Make an investigation check. <laughs> can can I read? Yeah. Yeah, I can't man. read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. You've been stuck in a box for like a week. So. Well, it's to, it's to skim it intelligently. Uh, it's at, towards the top. No, that's oh, saves. That's that saves. saves. So you you have an investigation staff. Oh, investigation. Yeah. Okay. So two, two. God damn it. <laughs> it so dumb. So tell us what does it say? So, I don't know. I. Uh, so I you, just uh, I don't remember how to read. I, my <laughs> mind is all messed up. I don't know what's going on. I just got out of a box. Please stop harassing me. I, I offered him my hand and I. And you kneel down. To guide him home. To guide him out of the building. Okay. <laughs> Can I take my scroll? Yes, you can take as many as you want, but ask the monks first, okay? Alright, fine. Yo, Sam! <laughs> Hi, my- Uh, who are you? Hello! I do not know you! Uh, fellow monk person. Yes! Hello! <laughs> that is you. New patron? I have some maps in my back pocket I'd like you to take a look at. I need, uh, I need some advice on these before I go. Of course, absolute stranger! I may help you! <laughs> Thank you, other absolute strangers. <laughs> of course, yes. So I pull these uh, these maps that I ripped off the wall out of my back pocket and kind of unfurl them. They're a little wrinkly. Okay. But I pull them up. You the shoved guy. them in your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get a good chance to look at these before I took them. I really like maps. I just, <laughs> just wanted them. So you see his his kind of demeanor quickly shift. As he's looking at all over, very, very focused, and he gets very grim. And he goes, where did you find these? Uh, uh, that's none of your business at this juncture, I would just like. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll come in, I'll come in. Oh, no, he, monitor, he you, oh, no you, you would be there, never yeah, mind. Yeah, he's Keep right going. behind me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, tried, I tried to see the monk, because I think I have a higher deception. And I'll say... Uh, oh no no! I'll use persuasion. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't really. But uh, he fell the fall on him, so you can't blame him. You know monks, right? And not him a little bit. So you're gonna tell him you stole them. Why don't you make, tell you to see? Make make a persuasion check. I'm gonna deceive them by telling him. Yeah. Twenty five. <laughs> okay. He goes. All right. Uh, my name's Boris. Um, <laughs> hello, so, <laughs> and then he, he quickly, like, his voice quickly hushes down, and he's like, this seems to be an elaborate system of tunnels underneath the city, the I don't, I've tunnels. never seen any such map like this, and it's certainly not up to any sort of river field standards, this is some sort of home-drawn map here. Do you okay. think this could have anything to do with the, the unrest that you had recently? Everybody loves King Denal. I don't know what you're talking about. It's really great here. Yes, um, him. Uh, you can ins or... incite him right incite now. Jack. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. He, the cracks are almost like obvious on his but face. Like he, this is an unfounded statement. Okay. Um, <laughs> sir, I don't know what kind of establishment you run here. Personally, I don't really care, but you seem really invested in not telling me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so what's really going on? What's the deal with this god? What's the deal with these maps? What just happened to my friend? He then brings you kind of like closer to a corner where the other like temple monks are kind of out of earshot for the moment. He goes, look, the the city is not happy with the current taxation, and I admit being in a position of living as in a temple, I, I live off of the wealth of the community, and the wealth of the community is quickly dwindling. Um, and so I would say it's pretty fair to assume that people who make their money here don't tend to keep it due to taxation. And, and so I'd say there's a lot of, a lot of unrest about the current governing system. Uh, the god has nothing to do with this. I just like maps, and so does the god Dula. You know, the great deity, giant Dula, 
drew the the entire map of the universe and he's really important and a great god and you could totally learn a lot from doula um and he's kind of tugging at his collar and trying to divert the conversation to something that is super not sketchy. Looking around. Do you know any other organizations that might be going against the king? Roll a persuasion check. Uh, 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 well... I know there's a lot of unrest, and I, I don't know of any exact organization myself. However, no one's really found out how King Donal I uh, died. Um, and it was longly rumored to be some sort of external force, but nobody really knows. An assassination? You know, the god deity Judula is really nice, and you know all the mountain ranges that you see on the horizon? Do a little bit of those. Scene for us while he's, while he's, we have to. We should. We should probably tell Merrick about this. Yeah. Uh yeah. But before this, you need Forget to cut. Forget about me, guys. Don't worry about me. Well, we'll get. We're jumping back to you. <laughs> you need to cut the bullshit. What's really going on here? I'm telling you everything I know. I, there's a lot of unrest. The previous king died mysteriously. Taxation is harsh. Dula is a fantastic deity. Yeah, but what's in it for you? The more money in the hands of the people, the more money in the hands of the church, and the more money in the hands of me, and the great deity Dula. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, I am quite invested in the wealth of the community, and don't really have the powers to do so. Okay, but but why so haven't I heard of Dula before? Well, you must not be very religiously informed. I'm also not from here. I'm also not from Okay, I'm in over my head. <laughs> Why do I not know something? <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault. Well, we should, we should, let's, let's report this to Merrick and see if he has a right, let's, to know about governing. Let's go. Okay. So, Halia, you are a bunch of mist. Or a, <laughs> you're a bunch of mist. <laughs> yeah, cash is form. You are a fork cloud. Um, huh? As you are... <laughs> <laughs> As you are making your way towards the roost, is what you said. Um, so you're missing along. Uh, make make some survival checks. Whoa! I don't think I have to dies. Be a dies. <laughs> what kind of survival? Because I have like probably. the the tunnels are winding and like making forks and the such, and you're using this to maintain your concentration and knowing which ways you're heading. What are you reading? I'm just reading the spell. Oh, okay. Can't fault it for that. Nope. Doom Gitten Meister. Doom Gitten Meister. Doom Gitten Meister. How do you know when it's a concentration spell? Like, I think this one is, but I'm just... Oh, C. Gotcha. Yeah. What did you want me to... Just a... Survival. And this is just to spell. maintain your knowledge of what yeah, turns you're so taking. Like if you get hit, you have to roll for concentration. Uh, 22. 22. So you're able to keep a little mental map of what forks and such you're taking right now as you're following the various kind of arrows and symbols etched into the walls. Um, and you eventually uh, end up, um, you hear the rushing of waters echoing nearby in the sewer system um, and the like creaks and groans of the winch system lowering and a whoosh as a boat lands into the river nearby um you gather you're near the shipyard um and still underneath the city and you come across a an iron door a slit is closed around eye height um and etched kind of above the door is a picture of a nest so it was like knocked on the door and then it through when they opened the eye slit. Well, you, you couldn't okay. knock in your gash. I know, I said I wish I could. Yeah, oh, yeah, not gotcha. Um, I'm just gonna remember where this is because you said my survival. Yeah, so you, you maintained a little memory map. Oh. 
Also, what, what did I learn from the book again? It was like about the king. Yeah, so you learned that there was a, like the previous army got sent to oh, the, dragon. the dragon, they got slaughtered, the king died mysteriously, his son is raising another army, which is crippling taxes to invade the south. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and if I have enough time, I'm going to quickly go the other way and investigate a little bit, and then... Okay. Um, make a survival check at advantage to kind of extend your memory map here. 27. 27. All right. So you're, you're getting a good mental image of this entire sewage system. Um, you come across... You seem to wrap around one of the winch system areas and come across this... Uh, what is this one called? The nest? The, the roost is where you went to. No, the other one. The so other the way back, right? to go all the are you going all the way oh, back no, to where you first I'll just keep looking. Okay. Here. Um you wrap around and uh this seems to be uh a halfway point from the above ground down to the water of the winching system going down. You see a system like a platform with an open kind of center uh and roll stealth. Yeah, so you, you it would be fairly easy for you. Not on that roll, it's not. I'm seeing if it does I have advantage on strength, dex, and constitution saving throws. So then I roll. No, that's saves. You're not saving, you're checking. Oh, gotcha. So would you Is roll? It stealth? Yeah. Uh, eight. It's, it's easy enough. Um, you're missed, and you just kind of condense on the walls. Um, you see, there are various people armed along this platform that are. Uh, people. Yeah. Uh, members armed along this platform that they seem to be as ships get lowered down. They quickly, like, they're writing down on a clipboard. They're scanning the, the shipment. Some oh, of them are... I was in the sewer. Yeah. So you the open up... going into the sewer. There are ships... So the sewer tunnels led to an opening that led to a makeshift platform around one of the port dock openings down into the river gotcha. that they have set up and are using as a checkpoint for any boats passing through. They're checking stuff off. They're opening up crates and examining their contents giving the okay, and there's an exchange of gold. Okay. Um, every now and then you see either uh, the members kind of nonchalantly, uh, like with the consent of the owner of the boat, either giving or receiving something to add to their cargo. Mm. Um, so there's some s s nefarious dealings going on in here, handling the trade over the river. Um in some money being passed along hands, and that's that's the information you gather. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back up, unless it's super easy to go back down the other way. So you go back down at this point. How long is concentration for gaseous form? I think it's an hour. Not. Yeah. So at this point, you're about to run out of concentration of gaseous form. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just go back. Okay. So you. So the other guy's probably gone then. Right? Yeah. He. He gave up once Monitor came around. He gave up 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's been an hour already. I tried. Yeah, this, that's why you had to keep a good mental map, because you took several forks and turns. Okay, gotcha. Um So... So you get back out, you're in the back alley behind Culture Arcana. Are you wrapping around the front? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, go into a different alley, then change back. Okay. Yeah, the alley. <laughs> okay. So you missed around, go to an alternate location, change back. And start heading. Is it midnight? Can I look at the moon? It is now about like 10 p.m. Like midnight is coming soon. Oh. Um, so I'll just start heading back to the to the moon spot. Okay. So you head back to the front of Culture Arcana. You see Merrick. Where were you? You, you, we were you out, oh. I was outside the temple. And I'm yes. going to have Muffin within, like, earshot, but 
not near me because I don't know if he saw the if he saw the Oh yeah, we forgot to we forgot to roll south for him. But that's he fine. wasn't doing anything, he wasn't answering. He was just running away. Yeah, so that's fine. And he was also a raccoon among trash, so Yes. <laughs> trash panda. Trash uh, panda. <laughs> um So you all reconvene at the front of Culture Arcana. It is about ten PM and you all have a bunch of new information for each other. What's going on? Oh, we're all at the... Yeah. I got oh, hey, guys, some cool maze I found in the that. sewers. Hey, where did you go? The sewers. Oh, that's interesting. I think I have a map of the sewers in my back pocket. I have a map in my head. Keep it with me at all times. Well, I keep my yeah, maps with you. me at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, Sahalia. You just can't burn in a fire. Mine... Wait. Mine can burn a little bit, but... Got some potions. I think she's saying you're dumb. Oh, uh, yeah. I am. <laughs> My map survives well, what I'm saying. I can't oh, read. Both have the same intelligence. <laughs> oh, yeah. I brought my you maps with me in my mind. This, this, uh, All right, what's going on? Wait, Money Tour is Money Tour is talking. Go on, Money Tour. Merrick, do you know about this uh, political unrest that seems to be going on? Um, Sahalia read the note when Wait, she was I'm a cat. Read it later. Why would I know anything? Like just being in the area previously. You... Oh shit! Okay. Um. All right. I'll, I'll re. I'll reword this. I'll reword this. Uh, the monk told us that there was uh, some sort of uh, political unrest and a conspiracy of some sorts with the king's death. Uh. uh do Do you know now that we should probably do something about this? Or you can yeah. roll a history check, Merrick. Uh, Fifteen. Um, Riverfield being kind of like the cultural capital of this region, um, and the closest either being uh, Arden to the east, uh, Arden to the east, Sparrow Rest very far to the south, and Wormspire very far to the north. Um, Riverfield kind of rumor and story is pretty pretty prevalent in Revlon. Um, so you know of the, like, the, the king's death and how everybody, it's always been an open question how, and you being one who deals with ne'er-do-wells and defending against them, that was always kind of a hunch that there might have been some dark powers at play. Are you one of scummy lawyers? Are you asking me as <laughs> Chloe or Celia? <laughs> as Chloe. No. He's a ranger. In profession, not in class. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've heard rumors about what happened, and there's always been a doubt that sort of hung over the minds of people in this area, but nothing was ever conclusive, nor would it ever become conclusive, because the king, should he be someone who wanted to seize power, would never let that be known to anyone. Hmm. Well, uh, I, got the, I got the wrong vibe from those monks. Let me so, tell you what. Sounds like Sahelia knows something. Sahelia, what did you find out in the sewers? Well, I took Besides a little a, stroll a somewhere else thing. as did well. Did she smell like the sewers? No, she was a gaseous form the entire time. Oh, yeah. God, she, totally you, might, you might smell the like the, the trashy <laughs> areas of the alleyways a little bit, but no, not any more than Monitor. Monitor reeks because he was hiding in the trash <laughs> for hours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I blame this on Muffin, which I'm assuming is here right now. Point to Muffin and say, Muffin, I happen to know. What the hell? So, Helia, what do you know? I happen to know that the king, he did die mysteriously, but his son, when he took over, decided to start making up giant army to go defeat a red dragon to take his armor. No, the, the king oh. sent the army to kill the red dragon. And what is the army being built up for? The sun is being lobbied by the nobles to raise a second army to go invade the south. Okay. How did you come about this? So I regurgitate all that. They're going to invade the south. <laughs> and the, that's why the taxes are so high. Because he's trying to build another army. How did you come about this information? 
I did some exploring on my own as a cat in the back room of what's the name of the Gold Shore Arcana. Why do you guys hate these people so much? I didn't say They I helped hated our them. friend and you're Wait, wait, you're Merrick, Merrick. I never said I hated them. I just did a little bit of looking around because they were speaking Eve's invaded their camp. privacy after they saved our friend. Oh, lawbreaker. They invaded uh, we all, privacy we've all, that Okay, hold on. Me. Keep that slur to yourself. We've all done that. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you have such a big deal with me? Do I notice his uh, sword? No, it's sheathed. Why do you have such a big problem with me going and finding out more information that's actually useful to us? Normally, I wouldn't, but they saved our friend, so I feel like we that owe them a solid debt of gratitude. We can trust him. Sure. I agree. Fine, fine. You got me on that. <laughs> I may not be intelligent, but I am wise. <laughs> I mean, it may not be good, but we are slow. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Keith Ross, show me that map. Okay. All right. So he unfurls a wrinkly map of the the <laughs> subsystem of the city, and it is thoroughly detailed, showing various corridors, various dead ends. And you notice some of the corridors are trapped and meant to deceive those trying to find important places. Um, so Haley rolled well in her survival and avoided can I, those traps. Can I look over it real quick and memorize it as survival? You can. Oh, no, you already have the maps memorized. I have the. Pathway, safe pathway to where we need to go, my man. You can make a quick intelligence check. Quick intelligence. This is gonna be hard to. Intelligence? Yeah. Wait, why quick? Just like as you're glancing, you're trying to consume as much and memorize as much information as possible. Oh, you said you're glancing and trying to memorize it. Yeah. So. I can look at it? Yeah. Are you guys letting me look at it? Uh, Yeah, why not? Yeah, we will. Sure. Yeah, we're wait, hold on. Are we in front of the store right now? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna glance at it. It's not survival, okay. it's intelligence. Correct. Okay, I glanced at it. No, Alright, you're, you're able to get a, a fifteen and got a fourteen. You internalize a, a good map of the, the subsystem too. So Moni you guys scuffle off towards the like a darker alleyway. Um Monitor, you're you're looking at the map, so what are you what are you leaking looking to glean um. from it? So what is, is this in like common? Like are we all able to what the map says? It's a map. Yeah, it, it's, it's not there's not picture. really any picture. Any <laughs> text. Yeah. Well, it's they, it's in English. It's in Chinese. The text you do <laughs> understand uh, is very <laughs> vague and doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, you're also not a rogue, so you don't understand thieves' camps. It seems to be in some sort of code. Mm. Okay. Um, anything. Anything that might stick out in terms of their terming, terms, terminology? Yeah. Um, it Wait, seems to be. I know a lot of languages. Could I possibly? You don't know Thieves Cant. Thieves Cant is adapted oh, off of real languages. Um, What's up, Monitor? Can I use comprehend languages with that help with anything? Yeah. If comprehend <laughs> languages says that it can know Thieves Cant. <laughs> Damn it. Because, like. Druids have a special language that only druids know. It's not like well, a, it says you also understand any written language. Any. But you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. I will let you use the spell and make an intelligence Wait. check. But What's up? Okay. Yeah, but it's like. It's a code. It's not really a language. It's being able to understand gestures and code and like. But then Sometimes they'll you, they'll speak in like pounding their chest while saying certain then words. How would you have it written down on a piece of paper if it wasn't comprehensible? Well, he's understanding that this these writings are coded in such a way. And so I would decipher. Yes, he's deciphering a code less okay. understanding an actual language. So I will let you cast the spell and roll an intelligence oh, wait, check. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, last paragraph says. This spell, this spell doesn't decode secret messages in a text or a or a glyph. Okay, that so makes sense. that is that is that is an issue. So <laughs> you okay. you are aware of your capabilities, and this is not one of them. Damn it! Okay, then then I just close it and say, do you think the Disney shopkeep might know something about this? And I look, okay. look towards the group. I think they were going to tell us Wait. probably all of this and more at midnight. <laughs> Maybe. I don't have a point there. <laughs> I don't trust it. 
But <laughs> never <laughs> <hosted this anyway. laughs> it's recon. Burn the shop down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you guys doing? Do you guys want to wait till midnight? I would love to wait till midnight. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till midnight. Monitor, are you in? Yeah, what time is it right now? It's about 10, 10.30. Sit around okay. and wait for them to come. Should we just, should we just stake out and like keep, keep an eye out for the surrounding perimeter? That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, everybody make a perception check. Okay, so thieves can't isn't a written language, so there can't be like thieves um, written on the paper. Okay. So Good that know. means twelve. There's nothing on the map, or there's some other language. On there the is map. language on the map that, although not formal, thieves can't. It is some sort of system known to members of whatever has created these maps. So uh, then, comprehend languages should be able to see it, then, right? It would be like walking into Northrop and understanding all of their acronyms. It's not really. It's not a language. It's a system of terminology known towards those it's in the a organization. Really long acronym. Yes. So. Okay. So, what is everybody's perception checks? Oh. Twelve. Fifteen. Sixty-one. That's Just wrong. kidding. It's nice. <laughs> it's Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> you see all of the molecules being breathed in and out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, all right. Easily enough, uh, the the nighttime air settles in. It's like mid fall right now, so it's a nice crisp evening. Um, beautiful night sky and. Uh, what? Okay. Um, Perfect night for treason. <laughs> Damn it, let's just trust him a little bit. <laughs> and very few souls, occasionally like a guard with a, a torch nearby, and you all kind of blend back into the shadows and avoid their gaze. And midnight comes around, um, and you see in the, the front window of the shop a single candle get lit and placed in the center of the window. I go right in. Okay. You all head in. Howdy, y'all. Um, it is pitch black. Uh, the room is Wait, completely. I have a. I'm pretty sure I have. I think everybody has dark vision except for Merrick. So, <laughs> it's a dark room lit only by the flickering candlelight in the front window. Um, however, the door to the back room is creaked open, and you can see light flickering from the crack back there. Uh, I would like to. Enter last. Oh, now you're scared. No, just to make sure that the rest of the shop is mm-hmm. clear and that we don't get mm-hmm. locked in the room mm-hmm. okay. like you how did you, as a cat. How, how do you know that. if you yeah, have dark vision, mean, you can't see it. <laughs> you slam into a shelf, everything falls off. <laughs> you have to pay 2,000 gold. So you're able to feel your way around the room easily enough. Okay, yeah, easily enough. You feel your way around the room. Are you guys closing like the door behind you as you walk in? No. No? Keep it crease. Yeah. Keep, keep, like, keep it a little open. Can I like put my foot like where it would skid close so if someone tries to push on it from the outside it just hits my foot? Like the front door as you walk towards the back the door? Back, like whatever room that we're going into, the door that leads to it. So, I mean, the, there's the exterior door yeah. that you're leaving creaked open. And then you're to heading the towards... Yes. And then you're heading towards the back door. That is oh, I thought we were all already filing in the back. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just, just I'm asking if you're closing the exterior door. Yeah, Two and a half hour away, counted as a short rest. Yeah, you're all you're all rested up. I think you're long rested up. Mm-hmm. Oh, but your abilities that regenerate but after a short I get, rest are back. Now I, with my uh, circle of the moon, I get like plus mm-hmm. one transformation in short rest. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so you close the exterior door mm-hmm. and. Shuffle your way to towards the back room, um, and you see, uh, as you file in, there is uh, the man and wife, Hamlin and Sonia, um, in dark, like, shadowed gear, uh, like, hoods relaxed, um, all black, definitely gear meant to blend in with the night, um, as uh, they're kind of, uh, you see Sonia is against the the desk, uh, shuffling some coin into some purse, um, and, like, she, there's uh, a handful of loaded hand crossbows on the desk. As you walk in, he's like, oh, uh, hey, guys, uh, so, uh, welcome, um, 
Uh, close the door, please. Uh, we, we mean you no harm. I mean, you guys could probably take us. There's two of us and four of you. Inside checking. Oh, yeah. what, what are you? What are you doing for again? Yes. When's that baby coming? You know it's fake, Mary. Is she <laughs> still have, like? Does she still have that thing? No, she, she. The the like the dagger tummy is removed, and the the dagger's oh. laid out. Six. Okay. She had the baby today. <laughs> <laughs> um. She's ready to go. She goes, oh, little one. It's trick of the trade. Um. And so he seems to not mean you harm at this moment as he requests you to close the door. It's like extremely powerful spell that he was about to cast on me. <laughs> <laughs> he calls power word kill. Um, <laughs> so, uh... Total uh, God. Yes. <laughs> um, so, are you guys... Merrick, you're the last one in. Are you closing the door? Um, can are you I, doing the foot thing? Can I close it so it appears closed but it's not closed? Sure. So oh, wait, it's, can I can I be lookout then? And I can just listen in from the back. You can you prop up and look out the window of that door if you'd like to, because it's a uh, tiny window of the back room door. Would I be able to reach it height wise? Will I be able to make it? You can like stand on the desk and be able to see through it. Okay, then I do that. Okay. So uh, monitor roll perception to keep watch. Okay. Perception. That is a uh, 23. 23. So we're going to Sirenscape, change up our. He's not to the people in there. Yeah, I knew Colin was gone below the ears. Tacos. Is it going to mess that up again? Uh, we'll, we'll see if it, it crashes. So I don't want this to be spooky. It might be a little bit too spooky, but. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is just nighttime sounds. Um, it's very faint. So, um, as you sh- you creep the door against his frame, I like. So, uh, your friend here. We kind of found him. Uh, Doing a little bit of work we we do on the side. Um, he was in the hands of a not so friendly person trying to get onto the Salt Cut River, and um, me and my cohorts we kind of handled the trade over the Salt Cut and needed to inspect. And we have a strict no human trafficking or people trafficking policy. Um, a little scuffle ensued. The perpetrator got got out of the out of dodge, which is a shame. But your friend is safe. Um, the reason we do our jobs, we're part of the, uh, the scrying eye. Uh, this the uh, kind of a thieves guild, kind of in charge of keeping Riverfield in the hand of the people, and we make sure that. People of interest and other sort of ne'er do wells are kept an eye on, and the nobility of Riverfield does not claim stake over the good people of this city. We can bring you and introduce you to some people if you like, and kind of gain a gain knowledge of the true dealings of what happens in this city. Why? Well, frankly, we're in need of some people. People of your your skill set. I mean, I saw your friend in combat. He got out of a crate after seemingly days coupled up, and he was able to keep on on his own feet and fight viciously. And I assume the rest of you all can as well. Usually I can do it without vomiting. I hope well. so. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm intrigued. Uh, no idea who we are. Huh? That's the benefit of a thieves guild. Nobody really wants to know. Could be important. Are you guys responsible for a system of tunnels that might be under this town? I, 
Oh it. my god, Monitor! Monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get us killed? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a uh, perception check. That's not the worst what are you, question. What are, you, no. what are you trying to check for? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll word a different name. Um, there's some word around town that there may be a, a network, a secret, a secret passageway, a series of secret passageways under the town. Is this true? Word, word around town? Who, who's, what word are you talking about? Who told you these stories? <laughs> you know, the wind. You see the... <laughs> <laughs> that is canon. That happened as in real life. Like, still okay. Uh, you see, words of the wind are kind of our thing. So I'd really like to know what sort of breeze told you about a network of tunnels underneath the town. Well, it was just such a blow. I was, I was just running across town, and I just heard this name right. Make so. roll a deception check. Oh, you have to roll like a thirty. Uh, deception is fifteen. Uh, fortunately, yeah. So, um, as well, you see in my empty bulletin board over there, there's a lot of missing uh, documents that went missing around the time that uh, you all left my shop earlier, and so I'm assuming that Breeze might have been related to my documents drifting off in the wind. Would that sound accurate? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't don't see see this I do believe the only person who had access to my back room was you, Mr. Akithros. I was you a cartographer lie. by trade. <laughs> Great! <laughs> oh no. And I took great interest in your maps. <laughs> you can lie. Are you sure you still want to recruit us? <laughs> well, if it weren't for this being a locked room and you being the only one I know of being back here, I wouldn't suspect you. So, in all other circumstances, I'd say he was a pretty good thief and the type of person that a thieves' guild may require. What does this Thieves Guild aim to do, exactly? Bring Riverfield into a state such that everybody can be happy. And how are you feeling from them? That does not mean at the expense of the nobles, but it definitely does not mean at the expense of the common folk, and that's currently the state of our affair. Okay, how do you seek to rectify that? Well, uh, I don't know if you've heard, buddy. We lost our previous army decades ago, and King Denel II, his greatness, is deciding to, or listening to his, his rich friends on his ears. Can I infer from his diary that someone in his guild was hired to kill? You, that wouldn't be anything that you would ascertain with a check. You know the bits of information here, and that mm. might be a question you could ask. But you, there's nothing you could gain further from what you know. Okay, um, uh, he's raising a second army that his, his rich friends would like to see invade our southern, southern neighbors and kind of ascertain some more property under the Haldrim Empire. You seem to not be too keen on this guy. Well, you see, in my day job, as owner of this illustrious cold shore arcana and supplies, uh, a solid 75% of my income goes to Riverfield. And if you see the behavior and wealth and extravagance of the nobility, you know that that money is not being well spent. Mm-hmm. What is the... End goal. What is what is the government, what is the nobility, what does the people of Riverfield look like in the end of what you're trying to accomplish? A place that is well defended, mind you, but does not sacrifice the well-being of its people in order to end the lives 
of our neighbors. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Sign me up. I understand, yeah, I'm but I'm down, I'm down. one king got killed trying to fight a dragon, and the next king, presumably, is going to have a bounty out on his head for trying to invade. So what does the third king look like? So, the previous oh, king... There king, was no king. King Denald the I was uh, removed by some brash action of some one of our founding members uh, who is no longer with the Scrying Eye. Um, his cohort, uh, a comrade of mine you might meet later tonight, um, was not for such vile actions. We are not an Assassin's Guild, we are a Thieves Guild. Um, and so <laughs> is the, there an Assassin's Guild? Not to my knowledge, I sure hope not. Um, a Dark Brotherhood, per se. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that bitch that tried to kill me on the docks. They're the person that you were uh, in, in in a crate with certainly seems like the type of person who might do so. But uh, oh, yeah. uh, I know not of any such acting ones. In a in his uh, this founding member and his his dying act was assassinating King Denal the first. And heavily, mortally wounded, he struck a killing blow against the king. And the scrying eye moved forward, vowing never to use such methods again, as we can clearly see that it did not work in the long term. So, That's King true. Denal II may very well be the king for his le the rest of his life, but his current state of affairs and values and those who weigh heavily on his ear need to change or the balance reset and how that goes about we are still trying to figure out how old is the kid now uh he's about mid 40s i'd say he's got a good long while ahead of him so do you wish to just gain the ear of the king and try and dissuade him from invading <clears throat> that's kind of where we're hung up right now is there's a lot of a lot of intricacies that we don't have an ear in on. And you think we could give you that ear? You seem like talented people who might be able to examine and get, get some insight of what's going on in the, the inner workings. Because no nobility wants to be part of a thieves' guild. They already steal from the common folk as their day job. They don't need no sewer network. Hmm. So we're stealing knowledge. Stealing mm -hmm. knowledge, knowledge? Or... <laughs> Gaining access, gaining insight, and helping us gather purpose. Because we are kind of pissing in the wind, as the friends to the south might say. <laughs> and want to find out how to... <laughs> how, uh, how vast and how deep does your network reach? I'd say we've covered pretty much every industry in this place other than those who reside and deal with those in the, in the keep. Um, can I can I just speak to my associates privately for a bit? Of course, I know this is a this is a strong affair. You may you may step right. step out into the main room. We'll close the room and we'll tend to some more business we have. I, I huddle I huddle with everyone. All right, this the, is Haley, America, and Keith Bros. The door and closes behind. behind you. You're in the center of the room, and you can hear him kind of speaking with his wife, coordinating like, okay, let's like suit up the crossbows and stuff like that, and like putting on their equipment. Okay. Alright guys, so these guys definitely want to do something big, but don't know. I think this is our chance that we can rule Riverfield. <laughs> <laughs> so, together. <laughs> I agree completely. Alright. Who's with me? Monitor, have you ever heard the expression the oppressed become the oppressors? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, but we're not the oppressed. They're the oppressed. So we're the we're benevolent dictators that come to step in and take rulership over the largest city in the area. Yeah. And then, and then we can get anything we want. Think about that. <sighs> Including that loot up there on the shelf, which you should totally take because they're not going to be honest. Well, and, and, and they, and he did uh, establish and, that they have, they have no desire to kill the leadership. Yeah. They desire to affect their direction. 
Right. So we're lobbying. Okay. In all seriousness, <laughs> does this really want to try a coup? I think that this would be a learning experience for us. I agree. Like I said, <laughs> it sounds really intriguing. I have and no it's problem. not like we have any ties to nobility. No. In fact, none of us yes. come from nobility that I know of. That was poor shit. Yeah. <laughs> I lived in the cave. <laughs> It's still red. For like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how old I am. Yeah. All right. I think we can infiltrate ourselves in different industry and then uh, see if where I we can go. If I added going. the days up correctly, I'm approximately eight years old. <laughs> you know what? I think it's I think the biggest risk, but man, I'm <laughs> bad at math. <laughs> the biggest takeaway here is what that math is. none of us are actually from Gruberfield. Well, there's clearly an injustice going on, and I'm not one for oppression. Right. I'm not one for but government at my, all, so let's go. No, my, <laughs> yeah, my, my point is we're not from here. We don't really have any like, ties. Ties. We're not going to like ruin our reputation. Let's we just fuck it and do it. Yeah. Right. I think I think none of us, no one, no one knows us here, so we make the perfect fit. Exactly. The, as liberators, correct? Exactly. Okay, before we move any further, I will say this. This has the smellings of a rebellion. Now, oftentimes they end very bloodily and with everybody not in as good a place as they were before. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. So yes. we just have to be careful. I think a rebellion is what they need. I'll just start using some people. Mm-hmm. I've said my piece. <laughs> I think our oh, no. rebellion is what they need. Taco! I say we do it. Hold up. Did we Hold your tacos. conversation? Taco! Did he fall asleep? Taco. He fell asleep on the keyboard and hung up on me. Taco! Taco! Yes. Hello! Mm. Hello, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was terrible timing. <laughs> Merrick was gonna say, this sounds like blank, and I, and I cut off. I said, this sounds like a rebellion in the making. And they're often bloody and disastrous, so we have to be careful how we operate. And I said, let's do it. It sounds like that's what they need is a rebellion. Maybe. I think they want a peaceful transition somehow, but I'm down for both both ends here. I think we can... This might be a test of our negotiating skills and how well we can infiltrate and be diplomatic. Let's do it. All right, that's wait. So, what's our game plan? Yeah, I don't think we're, we're gonna follow them, we, and meet some of the people from the scrying eye. Yes, we are tentatively in. I think that's a good. Okay. Point. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Let's go through with it then. Okay, so you head back into the back room. Uh, they are now fully suited up. All of those hand crossbows you saw loaded on the the uh, drawers are now tucked away, completely concealed, assumedly on their person. Um, uh, he closes the door behind you. He's like, so, uh, what do you say? Wow. I say yes. What's, what's the first, what's the first mission here, boss? Oh, no, I, so, so is that a, is that a yes from all of you? I need a, I need 100% certainty here. I'd like to see where the yep. night takes us. That's a yes. Sounds fair. Uh, I won't be your boss. That's, uh, that's up to my, my friend. Um, let's go for a walk. Uh, he starts, uh, you see him go towards the back wall of the back room, uh, mm. shove into a wooden panel, and slide mm. it open as he then grabs a winch and it cranks open uh, a hidden staircase down into his cellar. I could have done that as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that, was okay. A, that was a DC 25 perception check to try and see that hidden panel. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's nothing. Um... <laughs> So, uh, my perception's a minus one, I'm pretty sure. He begins, uh, walking you down the stairs. Are you guys all, I'm assuming, going down the stairwell too? Heck yeah. So, um, Sonya takes up the. What's that, Money Tour? Maybe one of us should look out before we all go into this dark, dark staircase. Oh, uh, as, as he's heading down, you notice that Sonya is up, like, still upstairs waiting for the rest of you to go down as she's looking up, locking the doors, kind of securing the, the shop. How well lit is this stairwell? Um, at the moment, pitch black. 
Okay, we should probably have someone with dark vision in front and in back. Everybody has dark vision. Yeah, I'll so, just be in the middle. So I'll Merrick's in the center. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you do notice that uh, Hamlin and Sonia are both human as well. Um, so as, as Hamlin heads down, uh, Sonia buttons up up top, and then as she follows suit behind you, she closes the like the hidden floor above her. Um, and Hamlin uh, brings out a very, very small torch, looking like it has like 15 minutes of life, as he very slowly while, um, walks you down through the sewerways. Sahalia, you uh-huh. re- recognize the, uh, the porthole that you walk past, and he's taking you the exact way uh, varying through various forks and curves and um, the like as he's taking you through the sewers towards the roost. Okay. And um, Sonia continuously um, walking backwards and seemingly com- having completely memorized the way of walking through these sewers backwards. And you, even like cracks in the ground, you see her step over purposefully, um, just keeping a, a peering eye over anything that could be watching. Um, and eventually you all lead up to this great black iron door. You hear the rushing of water. Uh, the winch is now completely silent right now. Um, as you gather, you're near the shipyards. Uh, this grand iron door, Hamlin comes up. Uh, he's like, okay, huddle around. Uh, and he just, tum, tum, tum. And then on the other side of the door, there's a, tum. And then he responds with a, tum, tum. And then the slack, and there's a pair of uh, dark, dark brown eyes peering in. Um, Hamlin looks up the slat. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, catch is uh, pretty pretty lean this year, eh? Um, and the the voice behind the wall says, "Aye, but the snapper is beautiful." And he goes, "I agree." And then the you hear <laughs> as the whole window or the the whole iron door slowly starts creaking forward. Um, Sonia. Uh, does a quick kind of 360, understands all the environment, makes sure nobody's looking, and you all get huddled in um, as a uh, very burly, uh, bald, um, gray skin, black tattoos all over his arms, rippling down, um, seven foot tall beast of a man um, you recognize as, uh, oh god. What was the the race that you guys were captured by? Goliath. Goliath. Um, A Goliath man uh, opens and then quickly closes the door behind you all and this huge latch shuts and locks. Um, And it's almost as like a a second river field under here. There's hundreds of people bustling about, business going rapidly. The, The walls are lined with scrolls and documents and blueprints and maps of the entire region with various just lines all over trade routes, shipping routes, dangerous locations. Um, there are various, you see in the, uh, the far wall, there's a large roost of um, tons and tons of black crows. And you see various people walking up to the crows and affixing tiny messages to their feet. Um, there are, uh, there are people, um, there's a, uh, another corner where tons and tons of documents are being forged by people with the telescopic headgear, um, very carefully and meticulously creating and signing documents. Um, and all of the action seems to be uh, swirling around this one central location. Um, people bustling in with sheets of paper, getting them signed, bustling away. And Hamlin beckons you towards uh, that direction. Um, as you see Sonia go off to the, uh, the, the side and start offloading some of these documents and gold pouches that she's uh, hidden on her person. Um, the kind of roar continues at this bustling hum as uh, you separate the crowd and in the center there is a lone halfling man, uh, bright red hair um, in bright orange eyes, kind of in a, a illustrious... Uh, like velvety soft black robe um, as he's signing things and speaking with uh, one person about this and speaking with another person about this as Hamlin says, uh, uh, Rosebud, I, I believe you, you, you need to speak with my friends here. I found some new friends who might be able to help us gain access into what we've been looking for. 
Um, and you see this like uh, high energy, charismatic halfling man with red hair goes, "Hello, everybody. I'm Rosebud. Welcome to the Scrying Eye. So, what brings you here?" Mm, um, he does. You said you needed hands, so we're here for that. We're the hands. And he's he's quickly like shaping each one of you up, like inspecting you all, like feeling the like the fit of your clothes and like poking and flicking at your sores, like, hmm, yes, yes. So, what are you good at? Killing. Sneaking around. Making maps. I pull out my loot. Stealing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, stealing, and I pull out the maps of the sewers. <laughs> I pull muffin out of my bag. <laughs> I... Well, you all seem perfect. So... We have work for you, wherein I assume are you in? There's definitely some coin involved in writing the path of Riverfield. I, uh, I kept in. Depends on the job. Well, you see, we're currently at a lack of information. There is nobility that has no desire or need to affiliate with any sort of thieving guild. Um, and a annual gala is happening in the next few days. Annual what? Gala. Not a masquerade. Pretty much. Gala already. Yeah. Fancy dinner party. Yeah. Um, it's like a prom. <laughs> all of the king's nobility and uh, other sort of wealthy patrons will be invited and we don't have an invitation and this would be the sort of event where people we'd like to learn about will be. Wait, you have all these scribes, but you couldn't fake an invitation? The invitations are numbered. <laughs> the invitations are numbered and well guarded. We have zero idea what they look like. Hmm. Believe me, if we had our hands on one, we'd forge the shit out of them. <laughs> but we don't. Rosebud, do you happen to have a list of everybody that is attending the gala and perhaps... A crest that would go along with a twist. Why would he have that? Maybe? He doesn't well, even he have an invitation. Crest. At the he moment, who's going. at the moment, we do not know. We have an idea of nobility in the lands and Riverfield itself. However, we do not know which one of the which ones of the nobility have the king's ear. And this is the meeting in which we would like to find out exactly what. However. One lead we do have is we know uh, there is, with certainty, invitations were sent to the rulers of the nearby Fort Alban to the north. Whoever oh, operates yes. the fort is the the main military hub of the That's land. At least three days travel away. Yes, and thankfully the the gala is within a week, so we have just enough time for you all to get there. Get some invitations and go to this gala. Do you have a list of the nobility within the city? We can find get, get some documents for you for who we do know of in the city, yes. I'd like that if you can manage. Of course. That'd be easier. He quickly like beckons to one of the humans nearby. He's like, get, get them their list of information. He, he bustles off. Um, so, are you in? I am in. For and then Muffin goes, for an operation this big, I feel like you would know more. But who's in the city, who's outside of the city, and who might be going to the gala? That's our issue, is the people who have the king's ear like to keep it that way. And their name being known that they have the king's ear is how they quickly lose that position. As people want access to such power. So we know of the nobility in the city... We know of those who would probably have a great stake in knowing the direction of such a power. And we know that one of those people with an immense stake is the owner of the main military hub in all of these lands at Fort Alban. Do you know the name of whoever currently has a rulership over Fort Alban? That would be Lord Erwer, Narder Erwer. He's an old... Erwer, Narder Erwer. Lord. His name is Nar <laughs> Narder Erwer. Oh! Narder Erwer. Narder Erwer. N-A-R-D-E-R. D-E-R. 
E R Er. Yeah. E R W E R. Robert Er. His parents hated that. Well, you see, it's a name that's been around since long before any of us have been. It's quite ancient. Um, more barbaric times. Um, but. The military hub in this world, in this in the Haldrim lands, would definitely have quite a large stake in the military future of Riverfield. Do so I, I notice his if his dialect is of nobility? You can make a. Uh, this will be. Actually, can I assist with that? Give him a bit. Yeah, you. Yeah. So, at advantage, Sahelia, um, make a either a history or a charisma check. Your choice. History or charisma? Yes. Charisma would be... Okay. Uh, 16. So, you know, you've never dealt with nobility. Um, he, given his, his velvet clothing, he seems to, at least at one point, had money. Um, and he is a halfling... And at least being around Merrick and kind of his knowledge of the world, as well as uh, Akithros having traveled through these the lands, the lands to the south, um, which Cardis, uh, which uh, Riverfield is planning on invading, are the halfling homeworld. Rosebud, did you come from money? Where the money goes is not my concern, it's where the blades go. I was just informed that there are... I was just informed that there were no nobility in... Um... In... The scrying eye. Yeah, the scrying eye. I am not nobility of Riverfield. I have no desire to make Riverfield money. I have desire to protect the lands nearby and the lands of my people. So and that happens to align with the goals of the common folk. So you are from Carcass. Yes. How do you know where that is? Well, he he knows general geography of the land, okay. especially Akitros. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I might know because of Akitros. You know through passing yeah, by, hanging with them. Okay. So why are you working for the Scrying Eye if you? come from money and you could just afford to I don't know, just, why, why are you working for the Scrying Eye? Well you see us halflings, we have very little desire to shed blood of others and ourselves and seeing the growing aggressive nature of Riverfield and its royalty and its aims with military, I grew concerned and the royalty of Cardis and Sparrow rests our capital, had no desire to raise an army to defend ourselves, and so I had to take matters in my own hands. I knew the inevitable future, and so I came with my cohort, Esfuvius. Him and I were close friends and dealt with the, the underdark of the world, trying to learn of what went on here, and as we found out more and more, we understood... Uh, the unrest of King Denald throwing away armies at seemingly useless ventures, and we heard whisperings of the future of the next army, and so Estuvius had much more brash ways of dealing with this, and that got him killed. So... I'm here to protect my people, and it happens to align with the desires of the common folk. So your people and Cardis don't want to protect themselves? From they an army view they know is coming for them? They didn't... My theory... They, they Halflings would view violence as a, an unnecessary trait of mankind. And my theory is they wish to impose such values on the rest of the world and assume that the rest of the world follows suit. And they refuse to listen to my begs and pleas. An entire population by human army. An entire population of people refuses to acknowledge the fact that an army is heading straight for them. That just seems they might just want to not believe. People like to stick their heads in the dirt. 
That's exactly the case. Ignorance is bliss. You, human, you seem militarily inclined. Do you have insight on this situation? Do I? You, you, like, as you were saying, like, they would be steamrolled. So you understand where he's coming from. Well, your people are peaceful in nature. Yes. Humans tend to have a bit of a darker side about them. And when roused to a violent cause, they don't often shy away. And it seems like your people had something that this king wants. And this king is not willing to stop at any monetary or moral barrier to get it. I can tell you what he wants. He wants our airships. Your airships? Us halflings are brilliant engineers. Then why... Master of physics in the arcane. Why didn't you just give them the airships? Because we know what they would use it for. What would they use it for? They would weaponize them, of course. Well, I have some bad news to tell you. I have a feeling that you're going to have to weaponize your airships if you hope to stand a chance against Riverfield. That is what I wanted all along, but they refused. So you are looking for violence. I was looking to tell our people to defend themselves. And they have nearly a spear. We could stand our chance if we weaponized the airships, but that is not the direction of the halfling people. They use them for research and travel and merriment. They want to have fun and believe in kindness and happiness. Why don't they travel far away? <laughs> Where the humans can't get them. Home. Our kin has been here for All millennia. All they care about is the airships <laughs> and survival. They can do it. They can have both. Our people has been in Cardiff for millennia. The lush forests, the mountain ranges, it's a beautiful land. They'll never leave it. What would you have us do? <laughs> I thought, see, I'm confused because you said that you were trying to find a peaceful workaround to this, or at least that's. The As is my nature. I do not it's want never bloodshed. It's bad to have more than one plan. I do not yearn for bloodshed. I aim to halt this hurricane headed our direction. Well, maybe, maybe if we infiltrate the skull, we can convince the. The military the other way. So maybe we could just avoid the violence overall. That may be possible. I, I deem it unlikely. You'll be far outnumbered in sheer influence alone. However, at the very least, this gala will gain the scrying eye insight that future operations can use as effectively as we can. Okay. As the piece of paper that has the list of all the nobility in the, in the area coming. <laughs> yeah, at this point, the, the human has come back. He's like, it's quickly scribbled um, from their like system of documents. Uh, any sort of nobility that would have any sort of uh, weight in this scenario. Do I recognize any names or family crusts? Uh, yes, you do. Uh, you recognize Bernhardt. Okay. Are you going to tell us? Not right now. Who's on the list, man? Tell us. Why does he recognize Bernard? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Um, just... He keeps a lot of secrets. But you, you all skimming the uh, the document, um, Sahalia and Monitor make a history check. History. History. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, Twelve. Fourteen. Okay, both of you, um, you recognize it. It's kind of still burning your head from about five days ago when an assassin called for Merrick's name saying King Bernhardt of the formerly dead kingdom sends his regards before she began her attack. And you do recognize the name uh, Gaelic Bernhardt on the list of who's, people of interest. Who, who's this Bernhardt guy? Hmm, it does sound familiar, doesn't it? So, yeah, yeah. I'm asking... You're asking Rose. Merrick or Rosebud? I'm asking Rosebud. Merrick will kill us. <laughs> uh, we know very little of him. Well, other than the fact that he's uh, a king in the uh, a dead land. Don't know what he has to do here. He's just 
We know he's been in and out of Riverfield recently. And Thank being you. a king is in, in visiting Riverfield is of interest to us. Does anybody else have any knowledge <laughs> on this man? <laughs> Do you have for times or a history? Wait, Merrick, so Merrick, what are you saying? I did some work for him once, and he's not the most what savory kind of work? individuals. What kind of work? We need more information. Wet work. Huh? Wet work. Wet work? Wet. Wet work. Elaborate. I was part of a mercenary company that helped him win his throne, the Dead Kingdoms. And when he had his throne, he betrayed me and my kin. And sent me fleeing into the hills. Yes. This is the type of character that would have kings here. Based on what Daryl? What's his name? What's the king's name right now? Gaelic Bernhardt? Or Dinal. 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 Dinal the second. Based on what Dinal wants to do in Cardis, I would say that I would be less than surprised if with Bernhard had a hand in it. So, so for, for context deal. geographically, let me remove uh, that the table. Billboard. So the the dead kingdoms and apparently from the Shadow Assassin, the formerly dead kingdoms are to the southwest. Cardus is over here. Mm-hmm. Oh. So that's Where are the dead kingdoms? Shown the southwest. Side. Oh, I see. I read it, yeah. And Dinal so II is from the Dead Kingdom. Dinal II is the king of Riverfield. Gaelic Bernhardt is a king from the Dead Kingdoms, but it seems like it has recently been unified due to Merrick's mercenary work. So then he probably has a little hand in this uh, get-together that's going on. Okay. My guess is he will have an invitation. Merrick, do you have any more information about about this gala and the reason why they might be holding this in the first place? Uh, Suspicions, maybe? Blatantly put it, it's probably a fundraiser. Probably to ga- gather more men and money to the aid of the king to try and take Cardus. Gaelic mm-hmm. thrives on chaos, and if there's one thing that he wants to see is more trouble, and that's where he sees his power. Can I insight check you and see if he's hiding anything, if Merrick's hiding anything from us? Oh, I'll, I'll sure. That. Yeah, you guys can insight check. Okay. 16. 19. Is there... I don't know if the role, I'm telling the truth. Yeah, he's there's there's he's saying it straight. So he's not hiding. You're not hiding. No. Okay. Sounds like this is our guy. So Rosebud this entire time has just been cool and collected and very focused on everything going on. And he seems to almost like snap out of it like the military man is a military history of Somebody I am intrigued about. This is fun. Good. So, what I can tell you about Fort Alban is it's small, seemingly well fortified, three days away, and the military equipment and storage and preparation fortress of the lands of Haldrim. The. But this is where the. Ki- Bernard, Bernhard is? King Bernhard is from the Dead Kingdoms all the way in the southwest. Oh, I thought he was in Riverfield. He is, he has been seen going in and out of Riverfield, which from being oh. so far away has raised a suspicion of the scrying eye, and it is largely assumed that a foreign king visiting Riverfield gotcha. would be invited to the, the gala. Another person who is, uh, very highly suspected to be invited to the gala is, is Fort the Al- Lord of Fort Alon, Lord Erwer. Alban? Fort, yeah, Fort, Fort Alban, Lord Erwer. I think that's an E. No, it's A L B A N. Is that a B? It's yeah. probably pixelated either way, I'm declaring it's Fort Alban. Great. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds better. Um, Alban. Alban. And so, 
So yes, it is small, well fortified, but and will very much be if this gala goes in in the direction that they intended to, will be much more fortified in the future. Mm-hmm. So now is the time to do anything if you are. Lord Over has been there for longer than I've been around the Riverfield. He must be an old bat. It's not an objective. Get the invitation and get back to me. So, what do we get out of this? Riches. Insight into industry. (laughs) You gonna pay a little forward? Roll a persuasion check. Anyone notice the tower of dice that Doc has been building? Yeah. <laughs> it's been up there for a long time, but you forgot one of the dice. <laughs> what time I is can't it? Persuasion? Yeah. 16. 16. He's like, well, it only makes Plus sense. Plus five persuasion. 200 gold apiece, and he quickly like beckons to another one of the, the helpers nearby, and he rushes off, and you see this like large vault system opening up, and he's shuffling port, like coin purses. You all get 200 gold. Damn. Oh, wait, wait. Um, hey, I do persuade the check and say... We're also going to need some armor. How about she came for our tools as well? <laughs> roll, roll persuasion at, at okay. disadvantage. Damn it. Here, uh, you're starting to squeeze him dry. He's squeezing us dry 17. all the time. 17. What tools do you need? You look well equipped and I just paid you 200 gold. Well, we don't, we don't really look we like gold royalty, time. so we will need some fine clothing, don't we? I'll cover that when you get back with the invitations. You do not need to worry about that right now. Do you have any blueprints, schematics, any maps of the area? Of course I do! Rosebud wouldn't let you leave without them. Um, and he, uh, under the stack of papers that he has, he quickly produces blueprints of the fortress itself. And hands them up. <laughs> Blue beads of food and Ooh, how about I disguise as entertainment? I'm we don't sure need this right more. now. Well, Monique's sort they don't know what you look like. You could go in the way you are if you wanted. But not unless I swoon them with my song and I strum my lute. And then you talk to all the animals and then you tell well, them your plan. Have, I do have a disguise self. So. As he sees you, Monitor, going on about this, he's his expression goes from, like, confident excitement to slowly wary to, Well, I hope you succeed, and I hope I see you again. If not, I'll understand. It was good knowing you, and good luck. Do you... Okay. I'll work. Do you have some horses? We have horses. We do. Yeah, we have two. We have more horses. Yeah, you, have, you have two horses. Can we get one horse for him? I turned into a horse. Wait, you don't want to uh, ride dual horseback? With me? Nope. Are you are you requesting a horse with him? Yeah. yeah, yeah horse. Roll persuasion at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. You want us to get there in a timely uh, that's, manner. Can you confirm that that's cocked? Um, I guess. Yeah. The line is true. Eleven. That was, that was a... It was a disadvantage. Oh, gotcha. Uh, 15. 15. It was 200 gold will buy you the best horse in Riverfield. Okay. I'll buy a dog. Or a meal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Or a griffin. He, uh... Your eyes out. Gestures you out towards the front door, which you entered. Um, the great Goliath man opens up this thick iron door and slams it behind you as uh, Haldrim and Sonya are back with you. And uh, as he navigates back through the sewers and up into his uh, the back room of Pulchro Arcana, and goes, Well, that sure is exciting. All right, what do you guys think about this is This is cool. So we have a lot of preparation to take care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do, definitely. Yeah, well, how long do we have? Yeah. You have, have seven, seven days, days, and it is... Three days travel to there well, we and have back. Horses now. But you have horses, so that time would be cut in half. So you guys are just gonna have to suck it up and ride on the same horse. We have two days of prep time. Ish. Yeah. So we have four days to get everything together. We get the get the invitations. It'll be three days round trip, right? Yeah. Round trip. Oh, because we travel twice as fast. Yes. Okay. 
Cool. Yeah, set off. Yeah. Cool. So I think with that, we're gonna call it here. No, we're not covering out. We're just, we have to have an outro. <laughs> Your eyes are bleeding from the sound. What has happened? The scrying eye was discovered. Grand machinations and invasion and Macaroni. protection and grand poobah doing espionage. <laughs> yes, political intrigue and espionage. Treason. Kind of ish. Not yet. Going to be treason. Underhanded lobbying. Figuring out that Akira says. Permanent brain damage from his time in the crib. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you do have a scroll of a legend of a nearby mystical map. Shit, I forgot about that. Yes. And map illiteracy. Yeah, but you can't read it. Map illiteracy. You forgot how to read. <laughs> I know. I gotta write that down. Well, I can't read. I can't read. read. Oh, there's so many more questions. <laughs> I forgot I can't read. Well, just call him. <laughs> just ring him up. Hey, Rosebud. Yeah. <laughs> Calling you from my cell right? phone. Yeah, you're gay. <laughs> so, my friend wanted to know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's for a friend of sure. It's for money. Mm-hmm. Well, that was it. Thanks for listening, folks. Those who tuned in all that time.